okay problem calculate the polar moment of inertia of hello circular section and radius of gyration so first of all write down the given data so external diameter of hello circular it is given 176 mm 176 mm and internal diameter of hello circular section that is small d is equal to it is given 132 mm 132 mm then we need to calculate to find ip is equal to that is polar moment of inertia is equal to question mark and radius of gyration that is k is equal to question mark. k is equal to question mark. so first of all calculate moment of inertia moment of inertia for hello circular section for hello circular section for hello circular section for hello circular section okay that is i is equal to i is equal to i x x is equal to i y so it will be same for hello circular section so formula for that first of all write down the formula pi pi in bracket in bracket in bracket Capital D raised to 4, capital D raised to 4, capital D raised to 4, minus, minus, small d raised to 4, minus, small d raised to 4, minus, small d raised to 4, divided by, divided by 64, divided by, 64 divided by 64. So put all this value here. Pi pi in bracket pi into in bracket. So capital D it is 176 and 176 raised to 4. 176 raised to 4 minus minus 132 132 raised to 4 132 raised to 4 if i can close it close divided by 64 divided by 64 64 so it will be get i is equal to that is i x x is equal to i y y is equal to okay si pi into 176 raised to 4 minus 132 raised to 4 divided by 64 so it will be 32.197 32.197 into 10 raised to the power 6. 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4. mm raised to 4. So this one it is moment of inertia for hello circular section. So section it is external diameter it is 176 mm and internal diameter it is 132 mm. So first question calculate the polar moment of inertia that is IP. Right on. IP is equal to it is IXX plus IY. IXX plus IY. But IXX, I, IYY it will be same. Okay. So it will be IXX 32.197 into, into 10 raised to the power 6 plus IYY and IXX it will be same. 197 into 10 raised to the power. Six that will get polar moment of which power. So IP is equal to the calculate thirty two point one nine seven into ten to the power six plus thirty two point one nine seven ten to the power six. That will get sixty four point three nine four. Sixty four point three nine four three nine four into ten to the power six mm raised to four. 
So now calculate radius of gyration. Radius of gyration. Well, right here. Radius of gyration. Radius of gyration. That is in bracket. K. K is equal to. K is equal to root of I by A. 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 Calculate area for hello circular section area formula for that pi into pi into in bracket capital D square capital D square minus small d square in small d square Small d square bracket close divided by four divided by four divided by four. Okay, then on this area is equal to all this value here pi into. I into capital D square it will be 176 square 176 square minus minus 132 square 132 square bracket close divided by 4 divided by 4 from this relation it will get cross section area for plus or plus section pi equal 176 square minus 132 square is equal to divided by 4 it will get 10.643 10.643 into 10 raised to the power 3 mm square mm square mm square so calculate calculate radius of the ratio k is equal to k is equal to root of i by n root of i by n so i it is i it is 32.197 into 10 to the power 6 divided by divided by area it is area it is 10.6 643 643 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3. So from this relation it will radius of garage. Right now 32.197 into 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 divided by 10.643 into 10 to the power 3. So root of answer it will get 55 m. So radius of variation it is 50. So this one it is radius of gyration. Okay. So question was find polar polar moment of inertia. So polar moment of inertia it is 64.394 into 10 to the power 6 mm raised to 4 and radius of gyration it is 55 m. This is your final answer.